Good morning, everyone. We are out. It's a little after 8. Well, about 8.30, I guess, now. I had to get a shower. As you see, I'm still extremely wet. But I didn't want to wait to, you know, like dry my hair and do all that kind of stuff. Because I got to get out. It's Saturday. And Saturday is a big day for sourcing for me. So, I'm going to go and try to find, drum us up a couple of sales to go to. I went to some estate sales uh, day before yesterday and picked up some stuff there. But I didn't go anywhere yesterday because I was working on eBay. So, today, I'm going to go out and see what I can find. There was a lady that was supposed to be having a sale today. We'll see if she's doing it. She said in a couple of weeks, but... You know, that was a couple of weeks ago, so we'll see what's going on. But I'm going to drive that direction and see if she's doing it. Because she had a lot of, you know, older vintage stuff. That's where I got the Chanel blankets from. She doesn't advertise. She just puts out signs. So, we'll have to drive over there. But it's a beautiful morning here in Florida. The sun is shining. There's not many clouds in the skies. There's a little bit, but not a lot. And, you know, it feels pretty good. It's in the 70s right now. And... I'm feeling pretty good. So, let's go see what we can get into, shall we? Okay, guys, I stumbled on the cell on the way out, and I already picked up a ton of stuff that's sitting outside. Um, it's supposed to be a garage sale, but it's actually like an estate sale. So, I've been grabbing stuff as fast as I could before anybody else could get it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want that too. Yep. The wooden set. I got a stack here. I got a stack outside. I don't even know what I have at this point. I've just been grabbing. The corset for three dollars. Really? Yeah, I'll take that too. It doesn't have a lid, but I'll take it. Uh, that France. I don't know what that is, but it's four dollars and I'm taking it. What is this one? Oh yeah, that's a nice one too. Made in Holland, yep. Be taking that too. I was not intending on doing this. Cassettes. It's a pretty good shape. This one's a little rough. I don't know if that'll come out or not. I don't know. I think I can clean these. That's a Copco Denmark. I was not planning on buying all this today. Five dollars. Coogan. I don't know. I think I'm going to get all these though. Exhausted from the ones I picked up, so. Oops. And I'm just as loud. I'm just as loud as you can be here. Okay, I do like this old double boiler, but I don't need that. It's a cool piece. Alrighty. I like that gourd too, but. I have a car full of stuff out here, so I'm trying to be pickier now. I picked up a box of Christmas. Oh, I love this bag. Oh my gosh, I love this bag so much. The straps are broken, it looks like. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Yeah, I am in absolute love with this bag. It is so big, big old tote bag. I may have to get that too. Alright, I'm done. Need a little box for that little socket set. Oh, okay, great. 
a little toad. I think I'm about done, hopefully. So instead, I might have to go out and take out a mortgage on the house now. Whew. I'm exhausted. I know that. <laughs> oh, that's a cute little bird. You're so cute. But I would probably break you, so I'm not going to get you. Alrighty. this state knife set that's cool oh that's like chimes and some kind of crafting stuff Ordered a bunch of those on Amazon. I don't need this. Okay, guys, so as you saw, I, I hit the stock pile right there. Um, I got a ton of stuff. I think my total was $73. It was $70, and she forgot to add a little table on that I picked up, which the guy that was there, I loved this because the guy that was there, he, uh, he loaded the little table for me. It's like a little side table with the turquoise tile top on it and you knew I was gonna pick that up so anyway uh, she was like oh do you want to go load that for her and I was like oh I can get it it's not that big he's like oh I'll grab it she's like well he made it he ought to load it for you I was like really and so I started talking to him and I guess his dad was like some kind of master woods craftsman kind of thing that made poker tables and all kind of stuff this table is really well made and uh, that's why I picked it up because I got it for three dollars. So anyway, that's staying in my house. It's a very small little table, like a little side table, plant table, something like that. But I love the way it looked because it's the small, the small little one inch. Uh, sorry, I'm making y'all dizzy. The small little one inch tiles in that turquoise color, and they're vintage. And he actually told me he made that in the early '60s. So. I was so, so very happy with that, as you could probably imagine. Um, it's a beautiful piece. And I'm very glad that I stopped there because if nothing else, I got that. But I also got a ton of good stuff. I got two boxes of vintage sewing patterns, which I've got to go through. I, I don't even know what's in there, y'all. I just grab them. I don't do sewing patterns, but the price was right. So, I grabbed them. And then, I was looking in there, you know, through all the stuff. And as you saw, I found all of that, um, I gotta turn around, I went the wrong way. All of that, um, Danish and the La Crusette, the French and the Danish, you know, enamelware pots and pans kind of thing. None of them had lids, but that's okay. I got them for a good price, as you saw, and I should be able to still flip them for a profit. So that was good. And then um, I looked up 
there's a frame in there and they wanted five dollars for it which i was like that's just a small little it's not that old it's just a small little frame whatever and i walked past it and then something was like go back and look at that you know because their prices are pretty good on stuff so i was like let me go back and look at it so i can't remember the name of it right now i'll put it up here somewhere on the screen to show you but uh I went back and looked it up and saw that the comps for that size of frame were like 60, 70, 80 dollars. I was like, what? This must be something special. So, it just goes to show you that you don't know. Sometimes, I don't think anybody knows everything, right? And so, it just goes to show you that sometimes you need to stop, smell the roses, and look up stuff because. I would have left that frame there. I would have been like, that's $5. I'm not spending $5 for a frame. You know, nah. But I'm glad I did because that's an easy ship too. So anyway, I'll try to show you everything I got. It's all in the back of the car right now, loaded up. I ended up getting the two uh, old transistor radios, which I paid up a little bit on those. I think I paid $5 a piece for them, which I don't normally do. But she was giving me deals. Like she was cutting me deals here and there. So. I can't complain. And I got that whole box of Christmas. And she told me when I was leaving, she's like, there's some really cool pieces in there. Like, I didn't dig through the whole box. I just saw some old stuff on top, so I grabbed it. Yeah, more Christmas. I know. I can't get away from it. But <clears throat> I'm really happy with what I got there. I think it will pay off in the long run. I'll try to shoot some comps as I'm showing you the stuff that I did pick up. And uh, give you an idea of what the stuff's worth. So, on to the next one. Let's see if this lady's having her... The one I originally came out front for, and I got sidetracked, which I'm glad I got sidetracked at that one. That was a thumbs up for sure. Okay, so let's go see if I can find the other one. If not, you'll be getting a video of what I found at this one, so never know. This is real time, y'all. I am not going back and filming this later on. I'm doing it as I'm going, so I never know what to tell you. I could find a great thing coming up or nothing at all. So, you're just along for the ride at this point. So, let's go see. All right, this is not the cell I was looking for. They're not having it today, I guess. I don't know. Let's go see what they have here. Those are cute. Cabbage patch ornaments. How much are your shoes? Uh, depends on them. Uh, the those are ten dollars. Okay. Uh, the um, and these are ten dollars. These are I'll give them to you for five, but they're because they're the uh, the old Crocs, you know. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Here. I'll just yeah. dig through. <laughs> okay. All sorts of them. Oh. <sighs> Look here too.
Thank you, honey. Right. Have a great day. You too. Don't work too hard. Oh no. <laughs> No doubt, no, no uh, chance of that. But it was the hard work of getting it out and putting it back up again. Oh, yeah, right. I know. I'm always looking for old books. Uh huh. I have some of them in there, like the old dictionaries. And I like the ones that are hard. Oh, okay. I understand that. Okay. Good luck. You too. Have a great day. Binoculars. It's a pretty day. It is a pretty day. Oh no. There it goes. <laughs> when it starts again. Well, at least it'll keep you cool today, maybe. that was a hit and a miss because their prices our prices were way too high I mean if you're just buying it for yourself but to resell it was just way too high she has some really nice fishing stuff like uh, I guess her husband or whatever that had passed away it was his stuff and it was great but you know she had like one of these all weather coats with you know the waders and everything which was a great price that somebody was going to get it to buy you know to for themselves to use but she wanted a hundred dollars for them so I was like mm, no and then uh, the rest of the stuff is just eh you know she has some old crocs which I know some of those have resale value but I am not schooled enough in those to know which ones are good and not good and I really honestly just didn't want to take the time to look if I'm being completely honest with myself I just kind of was like yeah I don't see anything and when I get that feeling if when I first walk up to some you know a cell I get a feeling it's like and it's probably bad that I do that because it's like okay I'm not gonna find anything here but sometimes I surprise myself finding things but I think I got spoiled too after that first sale. Sorry, I got my window down. No, that's loud. I think I got spoiled after that first sale that I went to today because they had so much good stuff at good prices that now I'm just going to be like, mm, too expensive, mm, too expensive everywhere I go. So I got to get out of that mindset. But anyway, I'll go and see if I find anything else. Um, I got to run by the bank and do some stuff like that. So I'm going to do that while I'm out as well. And then I'm gonna head home and I've got, oh, there's a sign right there, dang it. I was on my way home. Um, I gotta head home and get busy listing on eBay again. So we'll hit this one and then we'll call it a day for the sales, I guess, because it's getting on up there. Um, it's already 10 o'clock and in Florida, I do not, I don't sell for, you know, late hours because it starts getting really, really hot. It's already hot, so we'll go see if we can find this sale and see if they have anything. Okay, guys, so this is the first part of this sale that I went to that I was picking up everything at. This is the first part of the haul. It's gonna, this is going to be like, I'm going to have to show you all this then reset because it won't all fit up here on this counter. So, let's go through this first set right here. So, I got all four of these seashell uh, framed pictures. It's going to be kind of like this. Ooh, the ghost slammed my door. It's got um, almost like a textured, it's a textured background. I don't know what that is. It's some kind of cloth. But anyway, there's that one. Let me scoot it to the side. 
There is this one. And I can't sound flat because they, you know, three dimensional. This one. And then this one. And that one's really piled up there. I mean, they put a lot on that one. But I just thought those were really cool. Um, I like to pick that kind of stuff up when I see it because I just think it's interesting. It's vintage and, you know, it's ocean based. You know, I love it. And then I got, this was the frame I was telling you about. Look at this. It's not very big. Very unassuming at first glance. You know, it's beautiful. But it is J Strongwater. And these go for a good amount of money. Like this one's still got his tag on it. Let's see if it's got the price on the tag that it was originally. Nope. Just blank on the back. It's still got a tag on there. But J Strongwater. So if you ever see any of these enameled, I mean, even the back is beautiful, but if you ever see any of these enamel frames like that, be sure and check them out because they are worth the pickup. You know what I mean? Let's leave that to the side. And then I saw this little set. It's like a little vase sitting inside of this ashtray. Okay. There's a tiny, tiny little chip right there, which I may have done actually moving it myself. But this is actually Royal Hager. Um, so I got that two piece set of Royal Hager. I didn't know for sure on this when I picked it up because they had put like the um, felt on the bottom. So I didn't know. So when I picked up the ashtray, it had Royal Hager. So that made me really happy. And then we'll come on over here. Look at this double boiler pot. Is this not fantastic? So you got the double, you know, the pot for the double boiler. It comes out, you know, it's got some scratching and stuff from being in there. That's okay because the inside is great. There is the pot. And actually, the lid for the double boiler also works on the pot. So I thought that was great. I grabbed that up. Lots and pots of pans today, which I don't normally grab, but they had good deals, so. And then this, I just thought it was interesting because it's vintage, one. I don't know anything about this. It's a tap icer, cracks ice in a jiffy. You got that nice starburst on there. Um, let me see if I can get the lid off and show you what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, I'm gonna drop it off. But there's two in here, and I guess, it says, place a cube of ice, or ice cube in the palm of the hand, with the other hand, vibrate the tap icer with wrist action, and a few light taps, the ice cracks into many pieces. The special spring action does the trick. Vibrate about two to three inches above the surface of the ice. Don't pound. So there you go, it looks like there's one in here new in the box. And then this one, which they had used, which I'll still try to clean up. That, I thought that was very interesting. Never seen that before. It's got a patent number on it right here. Made in the USA, but I have to look into that. I haven't done any research on that yet. And then I got this. This is not super old. It is vintage, but it is a Chadwick uh, pantograph. So, it's this telescoping arm. You know what, you know, you've seen these before. And you can copy something like this, make it into a larger, smaller, whatever you want to do. So it's like an artist tool, kind of. But again, I got a good deal on it, so that's why I picked it up. Because I thought somebody out there might need that. Okay, so moving on over here. This is just, they only had one of these confetti bowls. But I went ahead and grabbed because it it's a nice big one. It's, you know, almost like a salad size bowl. It's not quite that big, but a good serving size anyway. And it is the Texas Ware. But I just like, oh, I love the confetti. And it's not all scratched up on the inside, so I'm going to grab it. And then I got a couple of radios, like this little transistor radio realistic. You know, these do pretty well on eBay when you list them. So I'll have to get some batteries in there and make sure it works really good. And then I got this one, which is an old Panasonic, which I look, it's in the leather case. These have always done really, really well for me. Any of these uh, old radios in the leather cases have done really well for me. So 
I usually pick those up if I can get a good price for them or own them. <clears throat> and then next up, I have this wooden, she was kind of a socky set. I don't know what it is, but it's this gorgeous wooden uh, decanter with the little top comes out of it. I don't know if I'll be able to do it with this hand. There we go. And then it's got all these pretty little cups that go with it on the tray. But that blue just, you see how it pops against that dark wood? Oh, I saw that blue against that dark wood and I was like, oh, I'm in love. So I grabbed that up really quick. And then I got these little brass miniature candle holders. I thought those were adorable. And then I got this acrylic guy um, with the shells and the little seahorse in there. So I think this is Portugal. I don't know, but I just picked that up because I like getting those pieces. And they glow too, so that makes it even better. Ocean and glowing. Now this piece I'm gonna have to look up. This is an older piece. I would say this is probably 60s or 70s, but I got it because it's got that almost like lava rock kind of stuff in there mixed in with the glaze and the colors. Just a pot, you know. It's not marked, so I'm gonna have to do a little research on it, but it's a really nice piece. I just love the look of it. And then I got this vintage Puerto Rico. It's probably a picnic bag because the size of it. I guess you could use it as a beach bag. But it is huge. This thing is huge among us. You could easily pack a picnic in there. And it's got the straps on it. This strap, the little strap has separated right there a little bit. But still for the age, it's in really good condition. And it's got all the straw flowers and stuff on it. So I had to get that woven bag. And then finally in this round... I got this whole box of vintage Christmas. I'm not gonna go through all of that right now because this is gonna take a while to go through and actually sort out. I see Humpty Dumpty right there though. And a horse and a mouse. But this is all vintage Christmas in this box. So I've gotta go through all of this and see what is even there. Look at that. I love that. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. And it feels almost like rubbery. Hmm. So, some little copper pieces, you know, all kinds of stuff in there. There's a little boot. Little boot. Oh, I'll have to go through all that and see what's even in there. Um, so, there's that bag. There's some boxes of ornaments and things in here. There's just a whole box full of stuff here that I haven't even gone through. This is made in Korea, so I don't even know what this is. Oh, well, if I could open it. These are all these little doll ornaments, I guess. Are these ornaments? Yeah, they got hangers on them. Huh, that's very interesting. So, yeah, like I said, I don't even know what's in here. I didn't go through it. I just grabbed it when I saw that bag on the top. I was like, whatever else will just be, you know just be cake. There's one that's new in the package. Made in Taiwan. It's an older piece that doesn't even have a barcode on it. What are these? I just said I'm not going to go through all these and I'm doing it. Made in Ecuador. Look at that. That's pretty cool. There's like a little bag of those. Different ones. Like little handmade ornaments. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Little bell. Some more old, new old stock. There's a goose. Some little angels. A pack of, from Woolworths. <laughs> There's a little flock train. There's all kinds of stuff in here. I don't even know what those are. Looks like some more handmade ones. There's just some like, kind of garland or something in there. What is this little guy? Oh, look how adorable he is. So, yeah. There's a bunch of stuff in here i got to go through. It, because I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, there's some of those um, that make the stars and stuff. Still new in the package. Made in Japan. There's several of those down in there. Looks like a whole garland of it right there. Yeah, look at that. Yep. 
cool. What is this? There's something in there. Hmm. Don't know. Gonna have to go through it all. There's a little cat in a box. A little cat in a box. And more of these that you pull out to make snowflakes and stars and bells and all that stuff. There's a whole bunch of those. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go through all of this and see what's even in here because I don't know. But it was worth the pick up anyway. So yeah, there's that box. And then I'm gonna have to clear off everything and do a reset for the rest of the stuff I got this. Oh, one last thing I forgot to show you. Um, here's my table. This is the one the guy made with the little tiles. Oh, I'm in love, in love, love, love. I tried dirt all over this floor walking all this stuff in here, but look at these legs on here. It is so wonderful. So yeah, it's a little rickety right there. I'm probably gonna have to tighten it with some wood glue and maybe a couple of little brad nails. But this is my new table I gotta find a place for. All right, so that's it for this round. I wanna get the rest of the stuff. Okay, I've reset now. So let's go over what's the last things I got at this sale. So this is a vintage two-way band radio system in the box. I haven't taken it out of the box to check on it or anything, but I went ahead and grabbed it because the price was right and it's like, this is fantastic. So I gotta look that up. I don't even know. I don't even know. Date code. Well, eh, I can't tell what that date code's supposed to be because it's kind of, it's kind of missing a little bit. Anyway, I'll take that out and look at it and make sure it's in there and everything. It's got the antenna that's that went up on top of your car and all that. Oh, so fancy. <laughs> and then next up, I got this um, piece that's the two uh, brass dolphins dancing on the marble base. These are gorgeous pieces. Absolutely gorgeous. So I had to get those. And I got this little box here. It's a very unassuming little box. But the reason I picked it up, because one, look at the locking mechanism. It's old. It has a patent thing on it. So I open the little box up and look. There's nothing in it. Let's see if I can get it open now. It was a soap box. Unfortunately, the soaps are not in there, but I love the box anyway. Six cakes, useful toilet soap. You know, people redo stuff to look like this. This is original. And it's a little cleaning up and everything. I'm going to try to stay away from this tag, though. I want to keep it the way it is. But even the brass, you know, see how the brass has got a patina on it from the hinges back there and everything. So I went ahead and grabbed that little box because I was like, that's, that's amazing. You know, that's the kind of thing we try to make newer stuff look like. So in this instance, this really is, truly is an old one. So I got that. And then you guys are going to laugh at me, probably, but, because I know nothing about this stuff, but I got two boxes of sewing patterns, simply because she gave me a good deal on them. Now, I haven't even looked in here. I'm hoping they're vintage, 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 you know, but they probably aren't. <laughs> I'll be stuck with them, but oh, here's some crafting ones. Again, I don't know the value in any of this stuff. I just, I pick things up every once in a while on a whim. Just to learn a little bit about them. There's one that got mailed to them. So these look like they're probably 80s or something. I don't know. Oh, look. Cabbage Patch Kids. <laughs> so all kinds of stuff in there. Yeah, this is looking like very 80s to me. Very 80s. But you never know. I can lot them up or something if I need to. Now that's a little bit older. I love that little outfit. Oh, that's so cute. Dressmaker's carbon tracing paper. That was a little bit older, too. It's a maxi dress. So there's a few older ones in here as well, it looks like. Looks like it's probably 70s, 80s, 90s, or 70s. 60s, 70s, 80s. I'll get the decades right in a minute. There's more little maxi dresses, vintage dresses. Oh, look at these.
Yeah, that's definitely 60s. I don't know what that is. And then this one back here. So that's what's in that box. It's a bunch of patterns. And then I have another box of patterns here because I got both boxes, of course, because I'm weird like, oh, these are backwards, of course. Butterick, okay. Again, this is probably going to be a sale within itself. Oh, look at that one. Look, he's just going through patterns and pulling them out one by one. And like I said, I'll lot them up. I don't know what I'll do with them. I'll figure that out, I guess. But anyway, two boxes of patterns. Nothing like from the 50s, but that's okay. So those, okay. Whew. And then I got this piece here, which again, I'm going to have to do some research on. I am pretty sure this is, it's a very nice piece of pottery. The way they've applied this is very, very nice. It is not marked. Oh, wait, I lied. There is some kind of marking right there. When I looked at, when I was there, I didn't see that. Cool. All right, so anyway, it's got to be cleaned out. But a beautiful little planter on a pedestal. And that brings us to all of this, which is... 80% out of is Le Creuset. So I got all of these Le Creuset baking dishes, pans, pots. Y'all probably saw me grabbing them in the video as fast as I could. All of these. This one is not, a, I don't think this is a Le Creuset. I think this was something else. It is from France, but still along the same idea. The, oh, heavy. The heavy enameled cast iron. And then this piece right here is actually pre Le Creuset. This is the long handled pan. Big old chunky, chunky piece. Look at this. You can hurt somebody with this. So, this is what they had before Le Creuset. So, that's got some value. Well, all this has got some value. And this, this, I'm pretty sure, is a Holmes piece just from the outside of it. Because it was made in Holland. So, yeah, I think that's it. Whew, that's so heavy. You have to have seen me trying to grab these things. Anywho, so I think that is it for what I picked up today. I think I did pretty well. I was real happy with these pieces because I know they have value. You know, I can flip those pretty easily. So I was really happy with those. The patterns, I don't know. I grabbed them, so I'll figure out something to do with them. I mean, they're not super exciting for me because I don't sew, but somebody out there may love them. Loved the box. Loved the dolphins. You know, loved all that stuff I had before. So, anywho, that was it for today. That's what I ended up getting. I went to a bunch of yard sales. Ended up getting nothing from any of them. This is the only sale I got anything at. So, like I said, I was so happy with this one. I guess I was just like the rest of them. Meh, whatever. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. I would truly appreciate it. It helps me out so very much. And leave me a little comment down there. And if you are not subscribed to me, make sure you go ahead and hit that button subscribe. It is free. There is no obligation. And just check out, you know, what I have on here sometimes. So, have a great rest of your day, guys. And I will see you around the way. Till next time. Bye, everyone.